Hello everybody, I'm Nerdy Guy, and I didn't upload a video Friday, but for once I didn't forget, I actually couldn't access my fucking account for some reason. And now that I can access this account, I can't access my other account, and yes, I have two accounts, and technically it's not a sock account, because that account is older than this one. But if anybody, before anybody accuses me of using it for harassing people or anything like that, you can go look at it. It's pinata freaks, just, I have a bunch of shit that are made in like 5th grade. But... Turns out you can't have two accounts linked to each other anymore, so you can easily switch between the two. Because... reasons, I guess. Second, I reached 400 subscribers, which is really cool. I mean, I got a huge boost in subscribers lately. I have no idea where all of you are coming from, but welcome. Uh, so, I need 100 more subscribers, and then I'm gonna make a Twitter account. So, um, for the, all you new people, I set up goals for myself that if I reach 250 subscribers, I got a Tumblr account, which I have. And if I reach 500, it's a Twitter account, and if I reach 1,000, I'm gonna make a Facebook fan page. So, right now, I'm hoping for 500. Woo. Now, the video today, a lot of people will not find interesting, because most people don't give a fuck about foreign politics. But, as you all know, I'm Swedish, and I still think it's important for you people to see this, because there's a political party in Sweden gaining power right now, called the Sweden Democrats, and they are huge racists. And most people are saying, no, no, they're not really racist. People are just accusing them of being racist because they're talking about the immigration. Well, you might want to tell its members that. Because they're gaining, like I said, they're gaining power and they, the members of the party keep doing constant, constantly does stupid shit. And there's an article with 24 stupid things said by political mem members of this political party. So I've translated into English. The translations might be a little bad and their titles might be a little off because I am not sure how to translate the titles. But... I did my best, and I still I think you should need to, I think you need to hear this. So the first one is from a man named Bjorn Söder, who, when asked about homosexuality, said, "These sexual deviances deviances are not normal and never will be normal." Yeah, equality. And then we have the next one from Richard Jumsoff, a political spokesman, who said, "Rape is an expression of Islamic culture." And we have Yimo Kazan, the party leader himself, the man in charge of the party who says, Muslims are our biggest foreign threat since World War II. Wow. Really? You mean World War II? The, the war where we were neutral? Where we totally didn't help the Germans and then deny it? Nope. The fourth quote is from Kent Ekeroth, Ekeroth who is a member of the Member of Parliament, who said, Arabs are driven by a hatred, the desire of death. So, every Arab is a suicide bomber. That logic. And then the fifth one, and this is a real pearl. Give Breivik asylum in Sweden. An asylum as in sanctuary, not a mental award. Giving, giving him a mental award would make more sense, because he's a fucking nutjob. But this, these people actually think we should give him sanctuary in Sweden, because... Reasons. Oh, wait, because he killed foreigners. Yeah, that's why. And then the sixth one, when someone is arrested, I think we should buy prison places in the country they came from, whether it be first, second, or third generation immigrants, and then relative deportation, of course, out with the whole family, from Jonas Åkerlund, vice chairman of the Swedish Democrats, Sweden Democrats. Now, this is sort of similar to an idea I had in ninth grade, where I said, if a foreigner commits a crime three times, then he should be deported back to some country. And when I said that, I didn't just mean like Africans or Middle Easterns, no, I meant even Norwegians. If a Norwegian comes to our country and commits three crimes, and I'm talking three heavy crimes, I'm not talking like shoplifting, I'm talking like assault or things like that, then I said, think that, well, they've shown that they can't fit in our society, so they should be sent home. And I was accused of being a racist for this. I still don't think that's entirely racist, because, like I said, three times. You're not going to get falsely accused three times, and you're not supposed to commit crimes. Some people said, like, well, where are we supposed to send the Swedish people? I'm like, well... We can't send them anywhere, that's the point. We take care of our own, own shit, but when criminals come here from other countries, why should we take care of it? But this, I guess, that is racist, because they're saying even third generation. So basically, if I commit a crime, then I'm gonna be sent to fucking Germany. Yes, my grandmother's German, which makes me second generation Swedish. I don't even speak German, I can say Scheiße. That's close to it. Oh, I also, Eine uh, Bierbitte. Which is, one beer, please. That's all the German I know. And then seven. These Arabs are anti-Semites and always have been. That's Kent Ekeroth once again. And it's not entirely wrong, but it's not entirely right either. Then we have 
Arne Stian, who's the Sweden Democrat group leader in Gothenburg, who was asked, who are the real immigrants? And he said, those who come from south of the Alps, unwanted as I see them. He, this doesn't even make sense from, sense from a racist standpoint. He could have said the people from Africa and the Middle East, and at least it would be have, making sense from a racist standpoint, But the point of view, but this is just stupid. According to him, Italians are the real immigrants. Woo! Then again, I'm expecting logic from these people. And then Arnest Dian again, who says, 99% of those from North Africa and the Middle East are not good citizens. I wonder what statistics he found that, because, you know, anybody can make up statistics to prove the point. 69% of all people know that. Yes, I stole that from Simpsons. And then we have the tenth quote. Refugees, they are called, but the truth is, 90% of them are freeloaders and parasites, from Börje Brandhill, group leader of Swedish Democrats in Västerås. Yes, there's a Swedish town called Västerås. Once again, where is that statistic coming from? Cite your fucking sources! Uh, this next quote doesn't really make sense. It's a uh, retard, retarded fucking pension savers. I'm, I don't know what the fuck that means. And this is apparently was said by Swedish Democrat member of Parliament Mark Wichel or Wachel. And according, to, they say he attacked. This was attacking a group of dark skinned people he saw in a movie clip on the internet. However, this doesn't make sense to the actual quote. And there's another quote later down here with the exact same description. So I think that must have been some sort of error. Then we have number 12. Feminism is probably the most insane that the Sw insane poli bad translation. Feminism is probably the most insane thing that Swedish politics has ever vomited up. This disgusting ideology must go away. From Axel Cesar Honor District SDU, SDU, I don't know what that means. Like I said, th this is just badly translated, but in Södermanland, which is a part of Sweden. Now, he's talking about the Swedish political party, Feministic Initiative, Feministic Initiative, fe the Feministic Initiative. You see, actually, you should say Swedish in English. But, he's not entirely wrong, that, that party's full of fucking morons, and I'm gonna make another video about those too, because they are also morons. But, feminism as a whole has done good things, it's not a disgusting ideology. It's not certainly not the worst thing that Swedish politics has vomited up, because that's this party. Then, Erik Almqvist, the former finance policy spokesperson and member of parliament for the Swedish Democrats, who said, Men often have better views than women. Wrong. Equally as wrong as saying that women often have better views than men. We are all equally stupid. And 14, and this is a real pearl, from Sven Erik Karlsson, former deputy, I don't know if that's the right word, but of the Sweden Democrats local branch in Hörgsby, who said, I get so pissed off when I turn on the TV and it's a non-Swedish person leaving the program. I wonder what, what the fuck he does when he watches, like, in American TV shows, because we have a abundance of American TV shows here. Does he freak the fuck out to those two? Grow the fuck up! And then Erik Almqvist, and this is probably the best one, Erik Almqvist said to, spoke to Soran Ismail, which is a really famous Swedish comedian. And he said, no, it's not your country, this is my country. Yeah, insult beloved Swedish comedians. That, that always ends good. Then 16, group rape is a phenomenon that has followed immigration. No, it's not. That was Bengt Nilsson, who was then the chairman of the Swedish Democrats in Fleen. You know, group rape was a bun that happened before immigration, too. I don't even think it's escalated. And, oh, no, wait, sorry, this is the best one. Kent Ekeruth said, anyone who ventures a guess who's behind the bombs in Norway, no, I will not call you Islamophobes. And he was like, oh, it was Muslims, ha <laughs> It was Beyavik, the guy you want to give asylum to. He was the one who did it, and they're like, ah, it was Islam. Ah. Morons! And then they have 18. Now the Arabs show the real face as raw primitive half men. From Swedish Democrat board member Karl Otto Hulström. I don't know when or why he said it, but yeah. And then it's Erik, on, Erik Almqvist arguing with a woman, and then mentally just says, fuck that little whore. Yeah. Now we have Mikkel Ram, the president of the SD in Östhammar, which is a city. Islam is not a religion, but a sick cult, unlike Christianity. There's 21. The Swedish economy should look radically different if we would return 500,000 of the most obvious and worst parasites. Once again, they keep calling them parasites. And once again, statistics, cite sources, don't be an idiot. And that was Jonas, Jonas, Ek, Jonas Åkerlund, once again, deputy leader of the Swedish Democrats. And there's a mass import of subtle 
rapists, Bank Nilsson, who was then the chairman, he's saying that every immigrant is a rapist and that we're importing rapists. Logic. Sweden is receiving people from the Middle East and North Africa and is repeatedly rewarded with violent threats and ingratitude from Kent Ekeruth again, this brilliant person. And then here I talk about the other quote with the same description, and he said, and this is actually a funny translation because it was several Swedish curse words that only we can all translate to fuck, so he, essentially he said fucking fucking monkey fucks. And he was talking about black people he saw in a video on the internet, and sort of in his defense, the video was of African people burning people alive for being warlocks. Now, his racism is not justified by that, but that was upsetting for me too. Uh, but I didn't call them fucking fucking monkey fucks. I watched that and I was like, yeah, somebody needs to fucking educate those people about magic not being real. Now, these are just, like I said, 24 quotes, and there's tons more shit I can say about this political party, because they're fucking insane. They've just done and said so much stupid shit, but this video is already 11 minutes long, and most people will not watch this, because most people don't watch videos over 10 minutes. So I'm gonna end this video now. So, if you have any questions, or if you have any opinions, leave them in the comment section, look me up on Tumblr at nerdyguyranting.tumblr.com, rate this video with a thumb up or a thumb down, subscribe if you like my videos, and I'm Nerdy Guy, and you just watch Nerdy Guy Rant. Bye!